and video and image processing okay we have completed yesterday uh, that is uh, in the first video up to digital image fundamentals we have completed in this video we are going to see about digital image through scanner okay let's see what is the digital image through scanner see here a scanner is a device first of all a scanner is a device that is used for producing an exact digital image replica of a photo or text written in paper or even an object we usually uh, scan the exact digital image replica that means we should get that exact image what we want when we scan that a particular image same it should look like a original image only so for this sake we use the scanners a scanner is a device that is used for producing an exact digital image replica of a photo replica in the sense similar photo same replication okay or else text written in the paper we are we use the xeroxes for our paper uh, written handwritten or any text written paper so that uh, since we are using the scanners or even an object also we can scan this through the scanner so this digital image can be saved as a file to your computer and can be used to, to alter or enhance the image or apply it to the web okay this digital image can be saved as a file to your computer and can be used to alter or exchange the image or apply it to the web this is the about the digital image through scanner what now we have learned about what is a scanner next to see how many types of scanners are there we have mainly here four types of scanners that is a drum scanners flatbed scanners handheld scanners and film scanners okay let's see one by one drum scanners is this scanner is mainly used in publishing industry okay when we used to publish any book or any multiple pages uh, we use this drum scanners the technology used behind the scanning is called photo multiplier tube pmt in drum scanners we are using a technology called uh, photo multiplier tube pmt and the next flatbed scanners flatbed scanner is the most commonly used scanning machine nowadays we are using this flatbed scanners nowadays i'll show what is flatbed scanners in the next slide they are also called desktop scanners okay they are also called as desktop scanners they use charge coupled device ccd to scan the object this drum scanners is using the technology called photo multiplier tube whereas this flatbed scanners is using charge coupled device ccd to scan the object and next hand held scanners to scan documents by dragging the scanner across the surface of the document this scanning will be effective only if with a steady hand technique or else the image may seem distorted this handheld scanners we are we are going to drag the scanner across the surface of the document okay we are going to drag it that across the scan, uh, surface of the document this is called as handheld scanners and next film scanners this film scanners is used to to scan positive and negative photographic images and uh, the film will be inserted into the carrier it will be moved with a stepper motor and the scanning process will be done with a ccd sensor that means in olden days to record any film or uh, to take any pictures we use uh, this film scanners only it will scan positive and negative photographic images okay and uh, next see working of flatbed scanner what is this flatbed scanner and nowadays we are using this flatbed scanner let's see how what is the working of this flatbed scanner uh, charged couple device ccd is used in a flatbed scanner remember this ccd is used in the flatbed scanner a ccd sensor is used to capture the light from the scanner and then convert into a proportional electrons what this flatbed scanner is going to do the ccd sensor is used to capture the light from the scanner and then convert into the proportional electrons the charge developed will be more if the intensity of the light that hits on the scanner is more okay when the light hits on the scan sensor is more means the charge developed will be more okay 
and uh, this will capture the light from where scanner ccd sensor is used to capture the light from scanner any flatbed scanner will have the following devices okay to use any flatbed scanners uh, we are going to use this uh, following devices that is charge couple device ccd array and uh, scan head lens power supply control circuitry interface ports mirrors glass plate and uh, lamp filter stabilizer bar stepper motor belt and cover this all the devices we are going to use in the flatbed scanner next this is the actual uh, it means uh, internal process of a scanner okay this is flatbed and upper part is original and uh, down we have an, a mirror and a lamp through that uh, mirror and a lamp we are going to get an uh, lens ccd and adc okay this is the internal part of the flatbed scanner and um, glass plate and plate and cover okay this is the device which is in the flatbed scanner a scanner consists of a flat transparent glass bed under the ccd sensor lamps lenses filters and also mirrors are fixed i just shown you in this picture we have lamp mirror lens ccd adc under what flatbed that is original part under the original part we have this all the uh, components that is lamp and mirror lens etc so the scanner consists of flat transparent glass bed under the ccd sensors lamps and sens lenses filters and also mirrors are fixed the document has to be placed on the glass bed where we have to place this uh, document we have to place this document on the glass bed bed and um, there will be also a cover to close the scanner we used to close the scanner with a cover this cover may either be white or black in color okay this color may be in white or black this color helps in providing uniformity in the background this uniformity will help the scanner software to determine the size of the document to be scanned okay this glass plate and cover is going to use for what for scanning the document and also to check the background uniformity of the background to check to determine the size of the document to be scanned okay and next lamp the lamp brightness up the text to be scanned most scanners use a cold cathode fluorescent lamp ccfl okay and the next stepper motor a stepper motor under the scanner moves the moves the scanner head from the end to the other okay from one end to the other the stepper motor is used to uh, in used in the scanner for moving from one end to the another this movement will be slow and it is controlled by a belt okay this stepper motor movement will be slow, is slow and it's controlled by a be belt okay next um, scan head ccd lens and stabilizer bar the scanner consists of mirrors, lens, CCD sensors, and also the filter. Okay, the scan head moves parallel to the glass bed, and two and that two in a constant path. As deviation may occur in its motion, a stabilizer bar will be provided to compromise it. Okay, when this scan head is moving from one path to another path, uh, any deviation may occur in its uh, motion then a stabilizer bar will be provided to compromise it then again it will continue its path from the where it has been stopped okay and next the scan head moves from one end of the machine to the another when it is has reached the other end the scanning of the document has been completed it the scan head moves from one end to another end when it is stop when it is reached the destination it will stop that means the scanning of the document has been completed as the scan head moves under the glass bed, the light from the lamp hits the document and it is reflected back with the help of mirrors angled to one another. I have shown this picture. See here, when the when we have kept this uh, document here, the lamp provides an uh, light to it. Through that light, the mirror is reflected again back to its original. So, we can get the more uh, clear images using this lamp. Okay and uh, next according to the design of the device there may be either two way mirrors or three way mirrors the mirrors will be angled in such a way that the reflected image will be hitting on a smaller surface okay according to the device we may have two way two way mirrors or three way mirrors 
the next in the end the image will reach a lens which passes it through a filter and causes the image to be focused on ccd sensors at last the ccd sensors converts the light to electrical signals according to its intensity okay this is the points after have completing all those steps that is the electrical signals will be converted into image format inside a computer okay this electrical signals will be converted into a image format inside a computer to download a picture or to download any document this this reception may also differ according to the variation in the lens and filter design see one thing uh, many scanners have different different functionalities and different different uh, uh, what uh, different different qualities among uh, their originalities or uh, whatever brands okay so this may be different from one to one that is in the lens or in a filter design it may differ from one device to another device a method called three pass scanning is commonly used in which each moment of the scan head from one end to another uses each composite color to be passed between the lens and the ccd sensors okay three pass scanning is commonly used for what to for uh, color the lens uh, to color the text or anything okay and the next after the three composite colors are scanned the scanner software assembles the three filtered images into one single color okay after uh, this uh, three pass scanning is completed the three composite colors are scanned and then after that scanned image will produce a three filtered images that three filtered images are combined into one single color image there is also a single pass scanning method in which the image captured by the lens will be split into three pieces okay after single pass scanning method is completed we'll get uh, we'll split that lens into three pieces three pieces will pass through any of the color composite filters okay the output will be then given to the ccd sensors after completing this all the process inside the output will be given to the ccd sensors Thus, the single color image will be combined by the scanner. Okay, this is the working process of flatbed scanners. Thank you.